When I realized this episode would fall on February 29th, I knew I had to do something for the leap year. So today, we're taking a look at the basics on the leapinest, jumpinest Autobots there are, the Jump Starters. The toys that would become the Jump Starters were first released in 1983 in the Japanese toy line Diaclone. Known as the Bakuten Attack Robo, there were two figures in the range, the Jet Type and the Drill Tank Type, each of which featured a simple one-step spring-loaded transformation and a pull-back motor that propelled them forward in vehicle mode. After driving a short distance, the toys would automatically transform to robot mode, jumping up and, if you were lucky, landing on their feet. The figures were imported by Hasbro to become part of the second year of the Transformers toy line in 1985 as the Autobot Jump Starters. The Jet-type figure became Top Spin, a rugged land and sea operative who loved the challenge of conquering nature, his ambiguous-looking alternate mode reimagined as an amphibious vehicle instead of a jet. While the Drill Tank became Twin Twist, a wild, reckless demolitions operative whose tendency to sink his drills into anything close at hand caused many of his comrades to view him as a dangerous liability. The pair were characterized as brothers with high-speed transformation powers able to convert between modes in less than half a second. The Jump Starters are famous for having been available in massive quantities, shipping to stores in boxes of 24 figures. They were also notably licensed by Brazilian company Estrella, who recolored and renamed them for their markets. Topspin and Twin Twist became Saltman X and Saltman Z, respectively, from the Portuguese Salto, meaning jump. These recolors were also sold by Argentinian company Antex, who in 1994 would recolor them again into Robotman X and Robotman Z. But despite the wide availability of their toys, the Jump Starters had almost no presence in American media. They appeared in only a handful of adventure game books. For unknown reasons, they weren't featured in either the original animated series or the Marvel comic book, aside from a single panel crowd scene cameo by Twin Twist. However, their absence from the comic did mean that they were free to appear in the exclusive stories written for the United Kingdom's version of the series, in which they were depicted as members of the down and dirty Autobot commando unit, the Wreckers. In their first appearance, Twin Twist and Topspin called for the Wreckers to back out of taking part in the suicidally dangerous mission, Operation Volcano. However, Twin Twist's conscience later caught up to him after he witnessed an innocent bot being harassed by a Decepticon thug. Realizing that being an Autobot meant he had a responsibility never to shy away from fighting evil, he stepped in to knock the Decepticon out, then convinced his fellow Wreckers to go through with Volcano after all. The Jump Starters went on to regularly appear among the Wreckers' ranks throughout the comic's run, but the team eventually bit off more than they could chew when they took on the combined might of Megatron and Galvatron. Hopelessly outmatched, the Wreckers were slaughtered, with the Jump Starters each being brutally decapitated by their opponents. Thanks to their lack of appearances anywhere else, the Jump Starters' membership in the Wreckers became one of the most notable things about the characters, and they've served as members of the group in every major piece of 21st century media they've appeared in. That said, they've still never been hugely significant characters, rarely little more than faces in the crowd. Their most notable role was in IDW Publishing's comic book miniseries, Last Stand of the Wreckers, which followed the pair as they and the Wreckers were sent on a mission to liberate Autobot prison Garrus-9 from Decepticon control. The miniseries introduced the idea that the Jump Starters shared a branched spark, giving them a sort of psychic link that caused them to share each other's pain as was the case when Twin Twist was captured during the mission and Topspin felt his agony as he was tortured to the brink of death by the Decepticons. Unable to rescue his brother, and knowing that if one of them died, their link would mean the other would die too, Topspin tragically took his own life, causing Twin Twist to die along with him, thereby sparing him a torturous, prolonged death at enemy hands. 
Over the years, Top Spin has seen a bit more action than his brother, getting new figures in the Tiny Titans and Creo building block lines, plus his name's been reused a few times for new unrelated characters. These new Top Spins have included a Decepticon helicopter released by the Transformers Collectors Club in 2008, who was a component of the original combiner Nexus Prime and had the power to manipulate Transformers Sparks and the top spin of the live-action movie universe, a rough-and-tumble Autobot NASCAR track car who was introduced in the 2011 film Dark of the Moon. Like the Jumpstarter, this top spin was a member of the movie version of The Wreckers, and he briefly reappeared in the 2017 sequel The Last Night. The first new incarnations of the Jumpstarters to actually be inspired by the originals were introduced in 2013 in the Transformers Generations toyline. These versions of Topspin and Twin Twist hailed from the world of the Fall of Cybertron video game and could combine with their fellow wreckers to form the giant Ruination. New figures based directly on the original Topspin and Twin Twist were released in the Titans Return toy line in 2017. Lacking the spring-loaded transformations of the Generation 1 toys, these figures transformed normally, and the head of each was formed by a Titan Master. Topspin's head was formed by Freezeout, who had the special power to disable enemy Transformers' ability to transform, while Twin Twist's head was formed by Flameout, who could cause Transformers to rapidly, uncontrollably convert back and forth between modes. The Titan's return figures were also released in the Japanese Transformers Legends toy line, packaged with new Target Master partners who became guns for them, Top Spin with Peacemaker and Twin Twist with Spoilsport. The tie-in manga packaged with these toys introduced the Jumpstarters into the world of the original Transformers cartoon for the first time, depicting them as members of both the Wreckers and the group of Autobot space explorers, the Powered Masters. It was Top Spin and Twin Twist, working in conjunction with the alien Zamojin, who were responsible for creating the peculiar little pocket dimension known as the Legends World, in which many of the Legends manga stories took place by combining the universe-creating power of the Zodiac with the Zamojin's telepathic powers. When the Legends world was destroyed by the evil alien Devil Zed, the brothers united with their fellow powered masters to recreate it once more. Though Topspin and Twin Twist might not have the most complex history, the precedent that they established as the first spring-loaded one-step Transformers paved the way for the many auto-transforming figures that have been released across many different Transformers series and toy lines over the years, and which continue to form a big part of the franchise today. In 2012, Hasbro even released Spider-Man and Avengers Flip and Attack toys based directly on the original Jumpstarter figures. From Diaclone to Transformers and beyond, it was one small step for Topspin and Twin Twist, and one giant leap for Transformer Kind. And those are the basics on the Jumpstarters. Take a flying leap down to the comments section and let me know if you were one of the many kids who had one of these guys. Give the like button a click while you're down there, and remember to subscribe for more history and lore from the world of the Transformers.